Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, almost a month after a brazen daylight double murder outside the Salt Spring Primary and Infant School in St. James, the man who said to be the mastermind was shot and killed by the security forces today. Dane Barrett, also known as Jungle, was killed during a joint police operation at his so-called hideout in St. Mary. Kelisha Williams reports. The house, which has been described by the police as a hideout for a high-profile person of interest, Odane Barrett, also known as Jungle. However, early Wednesday morning, Barrett's safe haven was disturbed by the security forces. No, 15 minutes to four, and then put my brother and my mother outside. And you just wake up out of bed and then tell him, say, if you tell, tell anybody come say, my mother and my brother are sleeping in one room and the youth alone sleeping in one room and just, that's it. I just shoot him, cold, cold blood. When he left and go up the road and fire one next shot again. When him and him were the hospital, nobody then just kill him and just take him up and just take him out straight out of the house and go on with him. But that was contrary to what the police told our news team. Head of the Area 1 Police, ACP Clifford Chambers, told TVJ News what went down. As a result of the information and intelligence provided to the police, the police went in pursuit of the man who uh, challenged the police in a gunfire. The police returned the gunfire and he was shot and injured and an illegal firearm recovered from him. He was rushed to the hospital, but he was pronounced dead on arrival. Barrett is the same man who the police say was responsible for the double murder near the Salt Spring Primary and Infant School on October 26. A couple was killed outside the school gate. The incident, which left students and staff at the school running for cover, led to condemnation across the island. And even more disturbing, the police say Barrett was part of a gang which was embroiled in conflict with warring factions in Salt Spring, which also led to a triple murder recently two children were among the casualties. The area is seeing a gang conflict between Bloods and YSF, um, where the two gangs are in conflict. And um, the initial double murder is as a result of that conflict. And the reprisal is also um, the, the triple, where the two children were shot and killed, is also associated with that gang conflict in that space. The police are also warning residents to stop harboring strangers in their communities, especially persons who are wanted by the police. Mayor of Port Maria, Richard Creary, has commended the police for the operation. What has been happening of late is that once these strangers come in and have resources, people treat them like kings within their communities. St. Mary should never be a safe haven for criminals, especially a criminal who carried out such a brutal act against two innocent little children. Kelisha Williams, TVJ News.